Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. God is good. Amen. God is great. Amen. God is amazing. Amen. Hallelujah. Today is the start of a new year. New year has come. New year has passed. And we're going into 2019. And as we go into 2019, we go with a blank canvas. I said this in my testimony on New Year's Day. And I was talking about how when we go into 2019, we go into a blank canvas. Do you know what a blank canvas is? Terima? When you paint, you know the starting, just the white sheet. Sheet alcohol. That is a blank canvas. That starting, just plain. Nothing is on it. Blank canvas. So blackboard. Blank canvas. And as we go into this year, we have been given a blank canvas, a new start, 2019. But there are things in 2018 that happened that we need to learn from. Things in 2018 that happened always happen for a reason, because what God does happens with reason. And in 2018, things that you didn't want to happen may have happened to you. Horrible things, sad things. And I'll give examples Maybe it could have been about truth. Things that you thought were truthful, people that you thought were truthful, were deceitful to you. And 2018, God exposed that for you to see. In 2018, you were seeing people's intentions, people, how they acted, how they reacted, how, what the incentive was. See, people, you may have been, there, been for them, and when you were for them, they would have helped you. But when you weren't for them, they wouldn't help you. You were seeing people's intentions, motives, and actions. God exposed that to you in 2018. You may have seen what you're bad at. You may have tried something in 2018, seen something in 2018, tried it, and you may have not been good at it. And God said, 2018, you learn from this. I've given you so you know that you can learn from it. God is exposing different things in 2018. So when we step into 2019, we know what to look out for. If we turn to Isaiah chapter 43, verses 18 to 19. Isaiah chapter 43, verses 18 to 19. It says, forget the former things, do not dwell on the past. See, I am doing a new thing, now it springs up, do you not perceive it? I am making a way in the wilderness and streams in the wasteland. Mundinavegale Neneka Vendam, Purva Manavegale Sindika Vendam, Ido, Nan Pudia Kariate Segrain, Ipolde Adatondrum, Ningal Ade Ariirgala. Amen. I want to look at the first verse very carefully. Forget the former things. People mistake this. They, they think of forget everything about the former thing. It's not that. It's forget the actions that you took about that former thing. We forget the emotions and the actions that we take for that former thing. But we don't forget the lesson that we learned from it. In 2018, you may have learned not to mix with certain people. You may have learned not to do certain things. You may have learned not to venture in certain places. But you shouldn't forget the lessons that you learned from it. Forget the emotion, but don't forget the lesson. The lesson is the key thing here. For the lesson is what lets us learn when we go into 2019. Okay, let me not stumble on the same rock again. Let me not fall on the same hurdle again. Let me not repeat the same mistake again. For 2019 is a blank canvas for me where I can start fresh. Amen. 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 See, we're starting fresh now. Wherever you stumbled, wherever you did your little crannies and you fell and you fell into mistake and you fell into trusting certain people... This year, you should have learned from it and not go back to that same old rock. You shouldn't stumble on that same old hurdle. For this year is a year of change. For this year's new beginning. For this year is a year with a blank canvas for you. See, 2019 is a year of praising God and not weeping to Him. 
2019, I don't want you to be weeping anymore to God and tears and sadness for things that are happening, but be praising God for the miracles that you'll be doing in your life this year. 2019 is a year of miracles. If you turn to 1 Corinthians chapter 15, verse 57. 1 Corinthians chapter 15, verse 57. It says, But thank be to God, He gives us victory through our Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Namudia Kataragi, Yesu Christuvinale, Namaka Jayam Kodakra Devanakus Totram. Amen. Very simple. Be praising God this year. This year is a year you're starting good, you're starting new. No pain. God has given everything perfect for this year. House, clothes, food. And you should grow with that and grow through the Lord in that. I don't want you to be weeping this year to the Lord, but come praising Him for the miracles He's about to do. For the miracles He's about to change in your life. If you don't believe it, there's no way you're gonna have things are gonna happen. Give me a hallelujah. hallelujah. Give me a hallelujah for this. Hallelujah. Don't be shy to say hallelujah. Praise don't be shy to say hallelujah. Hallelujah is the way you like glorify Lord. Hallelujah, so long. Don't be afraid for the hallelujah. See, if you're shy to say hallelujah, if you're shy to praise God, God will be shy in your life. If you're shy with him, he's going to be shy to you. If you're great to him, he's going to be great to you. Amen. What you give is what you receive. Amen. So if you give praises to God, God is going to give praise to you. He's going to rise you up in this year of 2019. So praise the Lord. See, so 2019 is the blank canvas, okay? I've been saying blank canvas, canvas, but it's a blank canvas at the moment. Fresh start, new beginning. And the important thing about this blank canvas is that what you decide this year is what you paint. What you decide this year is what you paint into this blank canvas. Tell your neighbor that. What you decide this year is what you paint. What decisions and actions, Ninga saying law, and then Ninga Yosikring law, whatever you do this year, that is what you're going to start painting into your canvas. And at the end of 2019, this canvas could either be a beautiful painting or something rubbish. And that's your decision. It's all in your hands. So if you go and walk with God, you'll have a beautiful painting. But if you go by your own accord, it will look rubbish. Sometimes you may have seen art and they say, wow, this is the art. What is this? They're calling this art. This is rubbish. And then other times you may see another painting and you'll be like, wow, what, how beautiful the thoughts of the artist. An example could be the praying hands. Who saw the praying hands painting? Patrick Lai, a painting, Kai Porter. Do you know the story behind that painting? The, the story behind the painting is one day, a little brother was watching his older brother praying. And when he saw his older brother praying, he said, he looked at his brother's hands and he said, wow, what beautiful hands my brother has. And he started drawing that. And that's the infamous painting, the praying hands. That's how it came about. There's more to the story, but I kept that short and sweet. So we're talking about art. Since we're talking about blank canvases, we're talking about art. Do you know where God first mentions art in the Bible? Where art is first mentioned in the Bible, does anyone know? No, that's, that's not when it's mentioned. That's when it's taken into action. When is the art first mentioned in the Bible? Anyone? Turn to Exodus chapter 31 for me, please. Exodus chapter 31. Now God is speaking to Moses and he's giving Moses these commandments. And hear what he says. In 31 he says, Then the Lord said to Moses, See, I have chosen Bezel, son of Uri, the son of Hur, the tribe of Judah, and filled him with the Spirit of God, with wisdom, with understanding, and with the knowledge, and with all kinds of skills, and to make artistic design for works in gold, silver, and bronze, 
to cut and set stones to the works in wood and to engage in all kinds of crafts. Moreover, I have appointed Oholiab, son of Ahisamak, son of the tribe of Dan, to help him. Also, I have given the ability to all skilled workers to make everything I have commanded you, the tent of meeting, the ark of the covenant, the law of atonement, to cover on it, and all other furnishings of the tent, the table and the, its articles, the pure gold lampstand and its accessories, the altar of incense, the altar of its stand, and also the woven garments, both the sacred garments from Aaron and for the priest and the garments for his sons when they wear their serve as the priest, and the anointing oil and the fragrant incense for the holy place. They are to make them just as I have commanded you. Until verse 11, Padinga, please. பின்னும் கத்தர் மோசையை நோக்கி நான் யூதாவின் கோத்திரத்தில் ஊருடைய மகனான ஊரியின் குமாரன் பெசையேலை பெயர் சொல்லி அழைத்து வினோதமான வேலைகளை அவன் யோசித்து செய்கிறதற்கும் பொன்னிலும் வெள்ளியிலும் வெண்கலத்திலும் வேலை செய்கிறதற்கும் இரத்தினங்களை முத்திரை வெட்டாக வெட்டி பதிக்கிறதற்கும் மரத்தில் சித்திர வேலைகளை செய்கிறதற்கும் மற்றும் சகலவித வேலைகளையும் யூகித்து செய்கிறதற்கும் வேண்டிய ஞானமும் புத்தியும் அறிவும் அவன் அவனுக்கு உண்டாக அவனை தேவ ஆவியினால் நிரப்பினேன் மேலும் தான் கோத்திரத்தில் உள்ள அகிசாமாகின் குமாரனாகிய அகோலியா அகோலியாவையும் அவனோடைய துணியாக கூட்டினதுமன்றி ஞான இருதயமுள்ள யாவருடைய இருதயத்திலும் ஞானத்தை அருள்னேன் நான் உனக்கு கட்டளையிட்ட யாவையும் அவர்கள் செய்வார்கள் ஆசரிப்பு கூடாரத்தையும் சாட்சி பட்டியையும் அதன் மேலுள்ள கிருவாசனத்தையும் கூடாரத்தில் உள்ள சகல பனிமுட்டுக்களையும் மேதையையும் அவன் பனிமுட்டுக்களையும் சாரி அதன் பதி பனிமுட்டுக்களையும் சுத்தமான குத்துவிளக்கையும் அதன் சகல கருவிகளையும் தூப பீடத்தையும் தகன பலிபீடத்தையும் அதன் சகல பனிமுட்டுக்களையும் தொட்டியையும் அதன் பாதத்தையும் ஆராதனை வஸ்திரங்களையும் ஆசாரிய ஊழியம் செய்வதற்கான ஆசாரியனாகிய ஆரோனின் பரிசுத்த வஸ்திரங்களையும் அவன் குமாரனின் வஸ்திரங்களையும் அபிஷேக தைலத்தையும் பரிசுத்த ஸ்தலத்து சுகந்த வர்க்கங்களாகிய தூப வர்க்கத்தையும் நான் உங்களுக்கு கட்டளையிட்டபடியே அவர்கள் செய்ய வேண்டும் என்றார் ஆர்டிஸ்டிக்ஸ்டர் is a gift of god it's a skill that god gives you so when you go into 2019 and you want to draw a beautiful canvas you want to draw a beautiful piece of art by the actions you do pray that god gives you that skill secondly we see that god lists many thing that he wants artistically made many things from the he says from the tent of meeting the ark of the covenant the tent the table the article the lampstand the incense god says he wants it all beautifully made artistically so in other sense every single nook and cranny god looks at so when you draw your canvas make sure you fill the canvas with art not leaving one gap not leaving one opportunity left out in 2019 make sure you take every opportunity and fill in every piece of art to its each and every corner of the canvas it's very important beautifully do it and then we also notice that god says this is things that you acquire through wisdom and knowledge and we know if you read the bible to acquire wisdom and knowledge we need to be praying we need to be worshiping and reading the bible itself so acquiring the skill of doing art is something that we have to go to god towards first before we start this artistic life of 2019 and when art was first implemented it was like my brother said in genesis art was there since the very beginning when god started creating the world one by one the sun the earth the water the fish the animals it was all art it is all a skill that god had and so like that we need to pray to have god's nature in art 
we draw beautiful things and in everything we do we glorify god and god alone notice that when god did everything everything that he did glorified him in genesis everything that he did praised him and it was beautiful when god was doing it his art god had a blank canvas at the beginning nothing was there but when god started speaking things started coming to existence things started coming onto his canvas and that's how you and i came about through his art so when we go into 2019 we need to start thinking about our art how are we going to draw ourselves in 2019 what we put out into the world is what we get so if we put out negativity our art is going to be negative no positive in it but if we always give out positivity our art will be positive with beauty and so as i want to end in this point take god's nature into account like how he did every single piece of art from genesis i want you to take that type of intricacy that type of concentration that type of thought and care with knowledge and wisdom i want you to go into 2019 and make sure you take every opportunity that god gives you and in every step of the way glorify god along this canvas amen, amen. praise the lord and that's today's message it's a blank canvas and now i'll call up on my brother who will be singing today's song during this offering song please feel free to give offering unto the lord cheerfully and gladly as it says in second corinthians amen <laughs>